G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Flair and this is the series where we take a little stroll down Ramsey Street and get to know Australia's most iconic neighbourhood in the fictional town of Erinsborough. On this tour, we're going right back to the mid 80s and Neighbours' humble beginnings. The first stop is number 22, originally a rental with an unknown owner. This house first featured a year into the series in 1986 when Clive Gibbons became a tenant. Let's knock on the door, shall we? During his tenancy, Clive invited Daphne Lawrence, Zoe Davis and Mike Young to move in. Susan Cole later moved in when she and Clive began a relationship. After Susan left Ramsey Street, Clive moved out of number 22 and into a flat behind his office. Following Clive's departure, Paul Robinson purchased number 22 on behalf of the Daniels Corporation, who wanted the land to build a supermarket. After the deal fell through, Paul moved in. Later he married Gail Lewis, and together they lived as man and wife until their 1989 divorce. Paul's first tenants were twins Caroline and Christine Alessi. Paul later married Christine Alessi and moved back in with their son Andrew. In 1992, Caroline, Christina, Paul and Andrew moved out of number 22. Paul's next tenants were Benito and Kathy Alessi and their sons Marco and Rick. In 1992, Marco was the first to leave, followed by Benito and Kathy in 1993, causing Rick to also move out of number 22. Following that, number 22 remained empty for a while until Paul leased it to the Lim family, who stayed there for a month. Paul then sold number 22 to Cheryl Stark, who moved in with her son Brett and daughter Danny. After they briefly moved out with Cheryl's partner, Lou Carpenter, all four moved back in and Louise Carpenter, Lolly, was born. After Cheryl's death in 1996, Brett and Danny moved out and Cheryl's eldest son, Darren, moved in along with Marlene Kratz to help Lou raise Lolly. Marlene left Erinsborough in 1997 followed by Darren in 1998. Lolly left when it was revealed that Lou was not her biological father. Lou began to take in boarders, Jared Toadfish Rebecca, Drew Kirk and Darcy Tyler. After Drew married Libby Kennedy, they rented number 22 briefly from Lou after their son Ben was born. After Drew's death, Libby and Ben moved out of number 22 back into number 28 with Libby's parents. Nina Tucker and her mother Trixie moved into number 22 with Lou, but later moved out in 2003. When Lou experienced financial hardship, he sold number 22 to Valda Sheargold, but stayed on as a tenant until Valda sold the house back to Paul Robinson. Paul's first move was to evict Lou and move in his girlfriend, Isabel Hoyland. Paul's daughter, Elle, moved in also, followed by her brothers, Cameron and Robert. After Robert went to prison and Cameron died, Isabel left Ramsey Street in 2006. Paul then invited Lynn Scully to move in after she was forced to sell her own house. Lynn then left Aronsborough for Shelley Bay following her brief marriage to Paul. When Elle discovered Paul had deceived her and was involved in her breakup with Dylan Timmons, Elle devised a plan to trick Paul into signing over all his assets to her. Elle then took in Ned Parker as a lodger and later let Paul move back in. Ned later moved back out into number 26. Paul asked Rebecca Napier to move into number 22 with her son Declan. 
But when Paul's affair with Kirsten Gannon was exposed, Rebecca and Declan moved out again. Elle then forced Paul to move out and later asked Donna Friedman to move in and live with her in number 22. Elle invited her boyfriend Lucas Fitzgerald to move in with her. After Rebecca, Declan and India were forced out of number 26, they then returned to number 22 to live. Elle then sold the house back to Paul to ease her financial trouble and departed Erinsborough for a job. Then Paul's youngest son, Andrew, returned to Erinsborough and moved in. After leaving Paul, Rebecca, Declan and India move out. Sophie Ramsey then moved into number 22 in 2011, followed by her sister Kate in 2012. The following year, Sophie and Andrew left Erinsborough and Paul and Kate also left number 22. After a makeover, number 22 became home to the Willis family, Brad, Therese, Imogen, Josh in 2013. After two years in Canada, the youngest Willis, Piper, returned to her family, moving in in 2015, just as her parents' marriage was falling apart. Also in 2015, Brad moved out of number 22 and into number 32 with Lauren Turner and her family. He returned briefly to number 22 to care for an injured Therese. In 2016, Paul moved out of his Lassiter's penthouse apartment briefly and returned to number 22. After Josh Willis was killed in the Lassiter's explosion, Paul moved out and was framed and imprisoned for the explosion. Helping her to grieve for her brother, Piper took in Clementine the cat, who remained number 22's resident pet until 2020. After marrying Paul's nephew Daniel Robinson, Imogen Willis moves with him to the US for a job. Between 2017 and 2018, Brad's daughter with Lauren, Paige Smith, moved into number 22 with her son Gabrielle, joining Therese and Piper. Later, Ned Willis, Brad's son with his former wife, Beth Brennan, also moved in. In 2019, Piper moved away and Paul Robinson moved back into number 22 prior to marrying Therese. Then Roxy Willis and Paul's granddaughter Harlow Robinson moved into number 22. Therese then invited Brittany Barnes and her daughter Abigail Tanaka to briefly stay before kicking out a continually deceptive Paul and later Harlow for expressing her support for her grandfather. To Paul's disappointment, Therese invited his half-brother, Glenn Donnelly, to move into number 22 to help her to stay sober. Roxy then moved out following her marriage. And then Ned also moved out and moved to Sydney. Then Therese's estranged mother, Estelle Petridis, temporarily moved into number 22. In the lead up to the series finale, Therese Willis prepared to say goodbye to number 22 and Erinsborough. However, after the breakup of Therese and Glenn, Therese and Paul rekindled their marriage. Therese shut down the sale of number 22 and chose to stay in Erinsborough, presumably to live happily ever after with Paul Robinson. That concludes this episode of my Neighbour series spanning nearly 40 years of drama. If you like this video and wish to see more of this type of content on my channel, please do the like and subscribe thing and hit the notification bell for future videos. Also, you can pop a comment down below let me know your favourite characters and storylines you wish for me to delve into. Until then, take care. I'm Creative Flair.